This video is brought to you by Longoni Cues. Do you want to stop doing this? And instead do this. Or avoid doing this. And play position like this. Hi pool players, it's the Terminator. Welcome back to another episode of Terminator Tips. In this lesson, I have the solution for you. You will learn how to cheat the pocket, why you wanna do this and how. Let's dive in right now. Okay, sports fans, cheating the pocket. Let's dive right into it and start with the why. The best way to show you is just by setting up a few examples. Let's say we're playing a game of nine ball. I just broke the balls and I have a shot on the one. However, it's absolutely straight in and I'm lined directly with the cue ball to the middle pocket. If I just draw this ball in, look what's gonna happen straight line i'm gonna scratch right in the side how can we avoid that that's the next question well the answer is and most of you players have done this multiple times probably without even knowing this is that you can pocket the object ball in different portions of the pocket when we look at this shot on the one for example it's set up in such a way that the full pocket is available to us when we come more towards the rails, then the pocket is going to reduce. But when you come more to the middle of the table, you can shoot the object ball in the full portion of the pocket. That means the entire pocket is available to us. And as we can see here, depending on the size of your pocket, mine are four and a quarter. That means that almost two balls fit in this pocket so we can use that entire pocket. If you have four and a half inch pockets, it's even better. The smaller to get, the tougher it is, of course. So what I can do now, instead of aiming the one right in the middle of this pocket, if I aim it slightly to the left, that means that the angle that I'm gonna hit the one is gonna be a bit more on the right, and therefore the contact point will change. And if I draw the ball then, the outcoming angle is also gonna change. Let me show you right here. So I'm aiming it slightly more to the left of the pocket, same speed, same draw, but just a bit different outcome. And this time I'm in great shape for the two ball. And the same is true for hitting the opposite side of the corner. Let's say the two is now in this position. If I would draw it here, there's traffic with the three and seven, dangerous position play. But if I cheat the pocket slightly to the right side of the pocket this time, that means I have to hit the one a bit more on the left. Outcoming angle is going to change and I can draw it into that zone there. Let me show you. A nice full stroke with draw. There it comes. Down table. We're pretty good shape on the two. So you can continue that run. Here's another great example for you, this time more to the rail. That means we don't have the full pocket available to us. I broke the balls in nine ball. I thought I had a shot on the one, but if I would shoot it straight into the corner, I'm gonna hit the seven right on the side. However, once again, we can cheat the pocket. If your table is a regular club table, the balls are not super dirty or the pockets are really tight, then you can shoot this one ball right past the seven, slightly into the rail before the pocket, and the pocket is gonna accept it with a medium or soft speed. So my goal is to force my brain not to shoot it at the opening of the pocket, but slightly into the rail with a nice medium soft speed the pocket will accept that ball and that means pool players 
that you can cheat and make shots from angles where maybe you didn't think they were available to you. Third example, pool players were playing a game of eight ball and I'm on my last solid. I kind of messed up my shape. I gave myself hardly any angle to maneuver the cue ball. I have to play position on the eight. I cannot roll it forward. There's all kind of blockers. I can't draw it back. I can't stop the ball. What can I do? You guessed it, we can cheat the pocket. But remember, we can't hit this ball too hard because then it's gonna spit out on us. We have to just catch the rail before the entrance with a nice medium speed and let the spin do the work. High right, about two o'clock on the cue ball, medium speed, not too hard. We have to accept maybe sometimes a bit longer shot on the eight, but that right there is great shape. You could see that the Four ball just hit the rail before, but because of the speed, it was still good enough to accept it. And if you want to practice these shots, just set them up a bit closer at first so you get a better feel for them. And also find out what the limits are on your table. If the table's really tight, then it's much harder to do. If it's fairly loose, much easier. Have a go at it. Final example, pool players, Trouble in Paradise, we're playing 10 ball and I have landed straight in on the eight. What can I do? If I draw this ball back without any spin or any cheating, this is what's gonna happen. That is the nightmare we want to avoid. What can we do? Well, first of all, if the 10 ball would have been potentially on this side, we could do this hop on the rail shot. I'm gonna post the link here in the top. If you wanna learn that one, spectacular shot. Your teammates in the leagues are gonna love that one. But because the 10 is on this side of the table, that shot is not gonna do much for us because we might get stuck on the 10. Could be a lot of trouble, but we can cheat the pocket on the eight. Instead of hitting it full into the pocket, straight in where we're gonna scratch here, we're gonna just hit the inside of the pocket, force our brain to slightly adjust our aim, and with low left and a nice big stroke, we can change that angle and let the spin carry the cue ball down table. There it comes. Shot on the 10, so you can still win that rack. And if the situation is slightly different, where the 10 now is on that side of the table and the eight and cue ball are too far from the rail to do that hop on the rail shot, again, I'm like almost straight in here. I have very, very little angle. But once again, if I shoot it into the inside part of the portion, this time with high right, kind of a punch stroke, a lot of right spin, let the right do the work. There, still have a chance to come down table because I cheated the pocket and now so can you. There you go, pool fans, powerful knowledge in this lesson. Jump onto the practice table now, practice these shots and the table's gonna open up for you in a completely different way. Don't forget to check out all the other great content on the channel. There's tips and lessons here uploaded weekly for you. Browse around, there's playlists for all kinds of topics. And remember, if you wanna work a little bit more on the mental side of the game, the most important part of the game, head over to the Terminator College and check out all the courses that are waiting there for you. See you in the next episode.